clinical research. Research that's directly applicable to patient care is the bedrock of, of the field of hematology. In order to continue that, there is a vital link that must not be lost, and that is the physician scientist. There's a general perception that we're just not training the next generation of clinical scientists. And there is a threat today to the loss of that, uh, of that, of that group. The, the pipeline of physician scientists is under real threat today. And so this is a, an attempt uh, to jumpstart and foster the careers of young people who have decided to make careers out of clinical translation. The ASH Clinical Research Training Institute a year-long career development program that provides essential training in the principles of clinical research, refinement of project protocols, career advice, mentoring, and more. The goal of this unique ASH initiative? Counter the decline of the physician scientist. The cornerstone of the Institute is the summer workshop, six intense days, dozens of targeted lectures, one-on-one -on -one critiques by world-renowned experts, total immersion. This experience provides uh, a useful roadmap for the trainees to understand what are the skill sets that they will need to be successful. They range from how to give an effective research presentation. It's absolutely vital to be constantly vigilant uh, regarding the slippery slope of compromising scientific integrity. How to apply for grants. Writing skills. The regulatory affairs environment. How to ask a research question. It would be nice to design the perfect clinical trial, but if it's not answerable, there's no point in doing it. The other thing that we spend so much time on is refining that research proposal. I am uh, investigating new strategies for um, a rare type of non-Hodgkin lymphoma. They spend roughly half of their time in small group sessions where three or four of our trainees will be grouped with uh, three or four faculty. And then you say, how would you use that in the diagnosis of von Willebrand's disease? It's been great because it's literally one-on-one, -on -one, so I've never had such devoted time just to me and my project before. They help you with just going through the logistics of your project and helping to make your project stronger, your proposal stronger, so that it can um, actually be completed and be successful. When they develop their symptoms, it's not going to be on that one-year visit. The ideas are flying at a fairly rapid rate and eventually what you end up with is far better than what you started with. My secondary hypothesis. It's almost like entering a time machine, a salutary time machine, because you bring forth a proposal that might have died uh, at the desk of a grant evaluator, but at ASH, the Clinical Research Training Institute, these proposals literally blossom. Of course, studies need to be funded. With reduced money for clinical research, important sessions provide trainees with real-world pointers on how to write a strong, fundable proposal. I think it's really hard as a young person starting out to know what it takes to be competitive. And one of the goals of our exercise is to try to alert people to these career development funding opportunities and how to successfully uh, compete for them. The other thing that's incredibly important for young investigators is to have a mentor. They get to very closely know some of the, the leaders of hematology and these will be not only mentors for them during the week here but in the months and years ahead and throughout probably the rest of their careers. I think it certainly does give them a leg up. And all of a sudden you open a journal and you read a paper and you say, I know who that is. I talked to that person. I actually have their business card. I can email them perhaps with an idea that I have. We as, as, as faculty look on this opportunity uh, to mentor and, and guide these individuals for the rest of their careers as long as we're around. So this is a lifelong commitment. It's not just for, for the week that we're here. This is a really, really important initiative. This is where research is going. Uh, clinical trials research is critically important to the development of the American Society of Hematology. And so we would like to, if at all possible, to fund this effort through foundation support, through NIH funding, which we do apply for for grants, but also with individual members contributing. They're contributing to the next generation of clinical scientists. They're helping to inspire the next generation of clinical scientists. They're helping to give the next generation of clinical scientists in hematology the tools that they need to ask and answer important clinically relevant questions. Without the kind of encouragement that young trainees might be getting now, Hematology could suffer a loss of a lot of great minds to other fields. They are bright, they are intelligent, they've got great ideas. We just need to help them along.